at it again. We have, have one here with JP the Comedian. I'll leave the original link in the description box below so you guys can go check it out for yourself. And also, make sure you are subscribed to his channel. But he touched on something that was interesting that I had been thinking about touching on myself. Let's dive in. Ah. Good evening. People are dropping like flies from a mysterious killer called unknown cause of death. So tonight we're bringing you a special report on this unknown cause of death killer so we can steer your thinking in the right direction. I like it when a good plan comes together. Unknown cause of death has even become the leading cause of death in Alberta, Canada, which is ruled over by Justin Trudeau. So just use your imagination on that correlation. In Alberta, unknown cause of death is causing even more deaths than heart disease, strokes, and diabetes combined. Wow. According to most recent data published by the government of Alberta, deaths from unknown causes uh, became the leading killer in the province, claiming more lives than heart disease, diabetes, and strokes com wholly combined in 2021. When compared to pre, uh, I don't even know if I can say that on YouTube, compared to pre, yeah, that the total numbers of deaths uh, without a known cause is staggering seven times higher than it was in 2019. Seven times higher compared to pre, that is wild. For a little more perspective, let's throw it over to a guy with an accent from our sister station in the UK. The leading cause of death in Alberta is now, go on, take a guess, take a wild guess, cancer, heart disease, no. The leading cause of death is cause unknown. Known causes was the leading cause of death in Alberta last year. That category leads the way over dementia, which has been in the top spot since 2016. You all right, so um, it is number one over all of this. Strokes is number nine. Diabetes, accidental poisoning, uh, you know, over all of this. Uh, yeah, that word, which I'm not going to say. Number three, I guess you guys can't even see my cursor here. Spot since 20. Um, over that one, dementia, stroke is way down here. Accidental poisonings, diabetes. And this is number one. Crazy. 2016. You better hope you don't contract unknown cause of death because there's a lot of people dying from it. Let's hear more. A couple of years ago, unknown oh. cause of death was unknown. There were just a mere 500 or so. Uh, if you ever look at this uh, graphic of unknown causes, look at that. Sheesh. 2019, 2020, 2021. 2019, there were just uh, 500 uh, unknown causes of death. Uh, now it's 3,362. The leading cause of death is unknown. You're likely, you're more likely to die from an unknown cause in a first world society than anything else. There's a lot of unknown cause going around. What Jeez. are the early symptoms? The warning signs of unknown cause beats me. Nobody knows. That's why they call it unknown cause. What's causing all this unknown cause of death? Is it climate change, transphobia, or could it be? No, it couldn't. We'll take it from here, buddy. Nah, you can't say yeah. No, I, I, I know where you was going with it. Can't say that. Nope. nope As nope. you saw in the video clip, compared to the number of deaths from unknown causes back in 2019 before the world changed. And thank you for all the improvements, New World Order. There's now seven times more unknown cause of death, deaths. And it would astonish you to find out how much we're not looking into what's causing the drastic rise of unknown cause of death. And we don't need to, because when we look at dead people, we can see that what caused their death was an unknown cause. That pretty much gets to the bottom of it, right? The deaths are caused by cause unknown. unknown. <laughs> <laughs> and the thought police want you to know that any further questioning will lower your social credit score. And when looking at the mm, yeah, that's another thing to touch on too. Numbers from Alberta, we can see there are 49% more deaths caused by unknown cause of death than there are deaths caused by. And given that <laughs> has given our leaders very good reason to keep us in a never ending pandemic, you might be wondering, 
Will they declare a pandemic emergency for this even deadlier killer? The answer is no. While this one is killing more people, it isn't really something to worry about. Trust us, we're telling you everything you need to know. We might as well just sweep this one under the rug because we wouldn't want to unnecessarily scare. Will we ever be free? Time to ease off, Johnson delay. Huh? you we wouldn't do a thing like that and please don't look into this on your own this just in the ceo of pfizer who is quadruple boosted has contracted i wonder how we got it back to the news how can you protect yourself from this very deadly and specific killer called unknown cause of death we'll tell you that in a moment but first let's take a look at some heartwarming news of athletes collapsing and on the field from heart issues. One America News Network, who are conspiracy theorists, and we're getting them shut down, reported that from March 2021 to March 2022, 769 athletes collapsed on the playing field from cardiac issues. The average 769. The age of those athletes is 23. Kind of young for heart issues. Until now. It's just kind of the new normal at this stage. What wow. Let's take a closer look at how normal this is. As you 2021. Sheesh. You can see 500% more soccer players in Europe are dropping from heart attacks compared to one year ago. Why are all these young athletes dying from heart issues? Well, here's UK football legend Matt Letizier with some perspective. The, the last year. It's just been unbelievable how many people, not just footballers, sports people in general. I'm going to blur this out, you know, for obvious reasons, but you can go check out the video. I mean, it's out there. You know, about tennis players, about uh, cricketers, basketball players, just how many are just keeling over. Um, and at some point, surely you have to say, this isn't right, this needs to be investigated. Don't worry Matt, we're on it. And we have all the answers as to why these young athletes are dying from heart issues. We've looked into what we want you to think and it turns out that both being young and exercising are now bad for your heart. Because these are young professional athletes in extremely good physical condition, which is bad for their hearts because it means they have both risk factors Makes sense, right? No questions? Shut up. So if you exercise, we advise you to stop your self-destructive habit immediately because you're putting yourself at great risk because it's bad for your heart. You should have been listening to the body positivity movement all along because obesity is now good for your heart. We can only hope that our well-intentioned authorities will once again shut down all... Did you catch what he did there? Are well or well gyms in order to protect your health. Case closed, right thought police? <laughs> I'd have to laugh at that. <laughs> so once you start trying not to be young and stop exercising, what further steps can you take to protect yourself from unknown cause of death, the number one killer in Alberta? Well, the best protection is knowing about unknown cause of death. So here's how it works. Medically speaking, it works by way of a mechanism that just kind of gets you and then you're dead. So if you see it, don't go near it. You can also call the mysterious killer by another name, SADS, Sudden Adult Death Syndrome, which makes it sound more official and less tyrannical. Aside from those pieces of very helpful knowledge, you'll also wanna continue obediently listening to us as we tell you what to do, because we'll always steer you in the direction we want you to go while telling you it's in your best interest. That's it for tonight's special report on unknown cause of death. If your favorite athletes are still alive, watch them now while you can. The people who control us at the media publicly advocate for reducing the world's population. Don't think too much about that. We're hiding everything in plain sight. And here's Klaus Schwab on the beach wearing women's lingerie with no pubes, because why not? Good night. So, um, I think we can all make our assumptions on what is happening there, but uh, I'll leave it to y'all, okay? It's sad to watch these young athletes just drop the way that they are now admittedly i didn't know that it was even happening of course you're gonna have situations and circumstances where that does happen but i didn't know that it was happening 
at even the rate that it, that it was happening previously. But the fact that it's more than doubled is very, very scary. I mean, these are some of the fittest people in the world. Their cardiovascular health is, is at tip top shape. And you mean to tell me they're having heart attacks? How is that even possible? I, 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 I think I have an assumption on how that's uh, very, very possible. But y'all let me know what you thought about it in the comment section below. Shout out to JP, of course, bringing us the truth, but doing it with a little taste of um, comedy mixed in. You got to love it. The guy's uh, tremendous at what he does, you know, you know, bringing that comedy aspect to truth. You got to love that. You know, it's, al it's almost like, um, you know, you, you ever had to give your dog medicine? And you know your dog won't eat it alone, so you cover it with like something that tastes good, you know, like peanut butter or something, or you wrap it in some, uh, some ham or something like that, or some kind of meat. <laughs> it's almost like that, you know. He brings us those bitter pills, but he wraps them in a little bit of peanut butter for us, makes it a little more, a little uh, more palatable. <laughs> but anyway, y'all, let me know what you thought about this in the comment section below. Like, share, comment, and of course. Hit that subscribe button before you go. Peace and love. I'm out.